All right, welcome back to my channel, and I have a little painting video here for you. I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm not really going to talk about the process in the painting. I'm going to try to um, talk about something else. There is another video, if you look up my stuff, that uh, I have a step-by-step -step kind of walkthrough on how to do the skin tone or how I do skin tone. It's basically just a starting point because you can build off of it in your own style or your own methods. It's just how I do things. It's not the correct way, probably not the correct way, but it's just one way. Um, let's see. What can I talk about? There's one thing that keeps coming back to my mind as, as I watch myself do this, as I'm painting and creating these little characters, is uh, something an art teacher told me a long time ago. And I know out there on the, the internet I've put uh, that I'm self-taught. I believe I am self-taught. The only class I ever took was a, a filler class in college, Intro to Art. They wouldn't let you take any other kind of art class unless you were an art major, and I was not an art major. So I took this class just to have fun, and and uh, there's three credit hours. I need to fill some credit hours in art history. All the other art classes I took um, to fill the humanities section was uh, music related. But basically that was because what I just said, they wouldn't allow you to do other art courses unless you were an art major and you had to have a portfolio and you had to be judged and voted in to the art department. So at that time I had absolutely zero art, just an interest in art. But during this class we were doing, you know, still life and sketches and all kinds of other stuff like that. Pick, pick a famous painting and try to rework it and all this and the guys going around the class looking at all the other stuff and there was some guy that made a um, massively awesome corn dog painting I loved it. it it was the coolest thing I've ever seen and some other chick did something about um power lines and they were all neon bright and gorgeous and and somebody done some cute little character type stuff with uh, graffiti art in the background and I remember him saying to her "Ooh, you know in California they have this artist kind of movement going on and that is considered outsider art pop surrealism and you could probably get those in galleries and and sell them and make a bit of money and then he comes over to me and he's looking at my stuff And all I remember him saying was that it was good, and I, I, I was good at what I did, but I would never be great. Nothing I ever created would be great. So every time I draw and paint, I always think of that coming back into my mind that I'll never be great, and I probably won't because I'm drawn to making cute characters. At the time, the painting was not a cute character. It was... I can't even remember what it was. Impressionistic something or other that I had to try to copy. As close to whatever. But, uh, no, I hadn't even really started painting any of these cute characters until a couple years later after that class. But that comment really stuck with me. It stuck with me for. Ugh, I really don't want to share how long. That'll tell you how old I am. You don't want to know how old I am. But I have graduated college, I can tell you that much. And it's been a while, yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Um, people are going to have their opinions. They're going to tell you what they want to tell you. Doesn't mean it's right. For them, it's right. And that's why it's an opinion. And you have two options that you can do. 
take it to heart. I could have really taken that to heart and uh, stop painting altogether. Or say, okay, feel a little hurt, but you move on. And I've drawn three, maybe three to four hundred paintings since then. So everybody's going to like something different. Not everybody watching this video is going to like this style. And that's okay. But you know what? When he showed us his stuff that was in the galleries and it was selling for four to five hundred dollars a piece, I didn't like any of his stuff. So there you go. <laughs> he didn't like mine and I didn't like his. Uh, but anyway. Let's see. Oops. See, I'm recording the voice. <laughs> after I did the painting and I forgot to hit play so there's a minute here or I wasn't recording while this is painting okay so I gotta really watch the time now I don't want to go over on the, the speed part while the video is happening okay let me let's see if I can fix this so that was my little bit of wisdom to share and I'm back to playing the video and recording at the same time Now, I said I wasn't going to talk about the painting, but I'll take a, talk about the painting a little bit here. I started with blues and purples on the pants. And then watch what I do here. <laughs> this is on paper, too, so I really can't go back and rework this or fix it. What I do? Oh, I thought, oh, well, you know, a creamy pinkish color, but not too pink. No, it's dark gray purple that was really close to the hair color so then I add more right onto it and it's like BAM now it's it's right back to where I didn't want it to be shades of red so then I decide well to fix this I'll match the flower in her hair to her shirt try to pull the colors together and uh, hide the mess up there so we'll make the band the same color. I really don't know what colors I'm going to choose when I start this painting. In fact, when I saw the drawing and I posted it on Facebook, I was really thinking she was going to be a blonde. Until I sat down and started recording and then I'm like, oh, no, I changed my mind. Green, 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 green. Oh, and I'm almost at the end of the video, and what you're going to see is all the acrylic job, and then and I, I was too tired, I didn't record the pencil. That's all you're missing, is I do go over it in pencil to make things pop a little bit more, because if I did the fine work with the uh, brush, it would take forever 